Good afternoon, Sensei Jesse here, March 31st, last day of March, 12 p.m. Uh, man, for me, it seems like it has been more than 31 days this month. It seems like it's been 51 days this month. I don't know about you guys, but uh, it's been a long month for sure. Weird, strange things happening, but we're going to get through this because that's what we do. Nothing's going to slow us down or stop us. Julia Carlos, welcome. First time I've seen you this week um, for class. Okay, a couple things I want to go over. Um, if you guys have any, right now, everybody's muted. If you have any questions at the end, I'll unmute everybody, or you can unmute yourself. If you have a question, ask away. Or at any time, you can do the chat at the bottom of the screen. You cannot hear me. Can everybody else hear me? I think everybody else can hear me. Yeah, Sensei Jim, uh, you were supposed to go to Okinawa today. I don't know how she was, and uh, man, that's such a bummer. You know, anytime you get an opportunity like that to be able to travel, and uh, you know, it gets canceled, it kind of. But hey, it is what it is. You know, you'll get to go again for sure. Um, um, anyways, if you have any questions at the end, I'll for sure leave it open for a few minutes. Davis Brown, welcome. Um, what you'll need today is some water. Okay, no chairs needed today. I know last week we used chairs, but you don't need chairs, but make sure you have some water. Mrs. Caffarelli, welcome. Both of you guys are joining. That's great. Um, make sure you have a nice training space area. Uh, I know space is limited for some of you guys, but when you're training, make sure there's nothing on the floor like Legos or you know tables or anything like that that you might kick or run into. I had somebody from the first class, he was doing these, uh, we were doing this exercise and he kicked his bed frame and, uh, you know, it, it didn't hurt me one bit, but he said it did not feel good. Okay. Uh, last thing before we get started training, I'll be at the dojo Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. and then 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. If you guys have any questions about anything we do or anything going forward, feel free to come by the dojo for one-on-one, -on -one, no charge. Again, five to 10 minutes, just something quick. Um, I, ha I will have to stay six feet away from you, but I can still help you in regards to that. I know it's a little bit tougher on this video screen. It might be easier if you're able to uh, come, if you have time, come by the dojo again from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Monday through Friday or 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. No charge. Um, you know, if you have any questions about karate stuff, uh, kabuto, you know, yakuza kumite or anything like that, especially you guys that are planning on testing here shortly, which by the way, we're still, I don't know when we're going to do the belt graduation. It depends on the status and I know some of you guys have been setting goals and stuff and this is tough but we're doing the best that we can and I know you guys are too okay um got a fun challenge for you guys today I know last week I challenged you guys to record Nahachi Shodan or Pinan Shodan and uh posted that and, uh, some of you guys that did it awesome if you haven't done it yet there's still time to do it um this challenge for today is going to be a little bit different it's going to be fun fun I got to put fun in quotes because people think my version of fun is twisted um and it's gonna be it's gonna be good okay you get to use your name and that's all i'm gonna go with right now okay good so here's the board i'll kind of go over what we're gonna go over today oh. okay so on this side right here warm-ups we're gonna do jumping jacks for 60 seconds we're gonna do 50 push-ups today five zero 50 push-ups today don't worry though it's gonna be in sets of 10 so we're gonna do five sets of 10 okay down here we're gonna do right here squats with round kicks so we did a lot of round kicks last week so we're going to put them to use i'll explain that and then a cool down stretch okay drills today we're going to do some kumite combos or fighting combinations something that's going to be on your belt graduation and then for curriculum nahachi number two or nahachi nida so if you've been following along so far we did nahachi showdown last tuesday pinan showdown last thursday today will be nahachi nida and then we're just going to kind of continually go up um, if you have any questions about the kata they are on youtube but you have to have our uh, website. You have to access it through our website. You can't just go to YouTube and type in the kata. You have to go to our website, go to the member section, type in karate is the password, and go to curriculum, and it'll shoot you to YouTube. You can watch all of our katas that we've ever done here at the dojo. Um, katas, weapons, and I'm pretty sure Yakusoka Kumite is on there as well. I'm not 100% sure. I will check into that. Um, but that being said, we're going to get started. Yes, I saw that there's a tornado warning in this area. Um, I'm being very careful right now, staying away from windows. Um, make sure you're, everybody's being safe. It looks like everybody's indoors. You know, if things get a little bit crazy, uh, we'll do what we can. McIntyre, be careful. I know you guys are enjoying the, the sunshine outside, but if something crazy happens, I would totally understand. Okay, good. So we're going to get started. Jumping jacks are going to be on a time. The round kick squats are going to be on a time. And then those push-ups are not going to be on a time. They're just going to, we're going to do uh, push-ups. Now you guys are like, oh man, 50 push-ups. That's a lot. But guess what? 
this is my third class that I've done. So, and I've done it for every class. So I'll be pushing 150 pushups by 1230 today. So don't say 50 pushups is a lot. I got a hundred more on you guys. If you guys think it's a lot. You can do a hundred more later. Okay, good. Just kidding. All right, good. So let me put this board away and then we're going to get started. Okay. Okay, starting with jumping jacks, I got a timer. You'll hear the beep when it is done. Make sure you are jump jacking with me. Make sure we do all the way up, all the way down, not these half jacks, okay? Unless you physically can't bring your arms all the way up, okay? Ready, set, go. Keep going, you're doing great. About halfway done. Again, we're just doing this to get loose, get some blood pumping. You don't want to hurt yourself. You go straight into some drills and stuff like that. Keep going, almost done. There it is. There's that magical sound that everybody likes. Okay, very good. So next is gonna be our 50 push-ups. Again, five sets of 10. Do them to the best of your ability. You know, um, I kind of say this a lot in the adults class, uh, or really youth and adults. If you're younger than me, you have to do it exactly like I say. If you're older than me, modify it to your likings, which the only people that are older than me is uh, the Caffarellis, the McIntyres, except for Chris, and then Sensei Jim. He's got lots of years on me. Um, very good. So we're going to do uh, push-ups, five sets of 10. Uh, I'll do them with you guys. So set one, 10 push-ups, knock them out, and then uh, I'll give you a little break, and then we'll go to set two and then so forth. Okay? So first set of 10. Here we go. Ready? 10 push-ups. Knock them out. Go. Yeah, once you're done, just relax, shake your arms out. That's 10, you got 40 more to go. Sounds like a lot. When you break it down, it's not so bad though. Chris, are you doing push-ups on your knuckles on the driveway? Better see you on your knuckles, Chris. All right, good, ready? Set two, ready and go. There you go, not so bad. Davis Brown, I'm glad it works. No more blue screen of death. I don't know what that means, but I'm glad there's no blue screen of death. I'm glad you're able to join in with us. That was set two, going on set three. We're almost halfway done with these push-ups. Let's go, set three, ready? And go. There's 40, shake your arms out. No, that was 30, sorry. Sorry about that, I know you guys got excited. We've got 20 more to go. Shake your arms out, get the shoulders loose. Oh. All right, good, set four, right here. Ready, almost done, guys. Set and go. Mills already did the other 20. You're supposed to go with me, not go ahead of me. Man. All right. Last set of 10. I'm going to challenge you guys because you guys are brown and black belts and you can handle it. I want you to do a different variation of push-ups. So if you've been doing regular push-ups, maybe do wide grip or go diamond. I'm going to go diamond personally. It's a lot tougher. So challenge yourself. Do it a little bit different than you have been. Um, yeah. Oh, shoot, Jacob Mills. That's, why, that's what happens when you go ahead. Sometimes you do the wrong thing. So that means you're going to have to do it again. Okay, so let me get a sip of water real quick. By the way, it is very hard to talk 
and exercise at the same time. I don't know how these guys do it, like P90X. I don't know how those dudes do it. Props to them. I didn't know how easy it was. If you've ever done P90X, the dude's like smiling the whole time. And I'm like, man, I don't like you right now. But anyways, so 10 more push-ups. Last set, diamond, wide grip. Challenge yourself. If you want to do clapping push-ups, fingertip push-ups, whatever. Okay? So 10 more. Ready? On your own. And go. Very good. Shake your arms out. Oh. Burpees. You, I know you guys like burpees. Don't even go there, Sensei Jim. I got a good surprise for you later. Don't worry about it. We're not doing burpees today, by the way. I know some of you guys are bummed out about that, um, but we will do them in the future. Trust me. All right, very good. So uh, now we're going to do the squats at the round kicks. So it's going to happen. You're going to be in squat position like this. Hands up. You're going to squat, and then you're going to round kick. Whichever leg you want to do first. Kick, when you set your foot down, put it back where you picked it up from. Like set it down like this. Okay, so again, I'll squat, kick, put it right back down. Squat, kick, make sure you do a four count kick, point your toes so you're striking on top of your foot. Yeah, if you guys have to turn sideways because of space, that's more than okay. All right, so it's gonna be for a time for 60 seconds. You're gonna squat, kick, squat, kick. You know, if you wanna do belt level, that's comfortable for you, do that, okay? Make sure you have those hands up when you kick. Ready? Don't drop those legs either. Don't let them get dead weight and just drop them. Snap those kicks back. Set, go. Way done. If you want to challenge yourself, try to kick higher, try to kick faster, try to squat lower. You can kick head level, go for the head level. Try not to lean so much. A little bit of lean is fine. Try not to lean, you might fall over too much. Get those kicks up there. job guys all right hey 60 second water break starting now if you have any questions use the chat box below or comments or concerns i'll be happy to answer them while i sip some water anybody do anything awesome this weekend i know there's not much that's open but you know if you type did something awesome or if you didn't if you were you're really completely lazy i want to know type it below let me know I didn't do much of anything this past weekend, but I'm going to do something today. This evening, after my office hours, I'm going to go for a jog. So if you see me running on Niceville, make sure you honk, cheer me on. Workouts. Annalise has been working out. I'm not surprised. It's good, Annalise. Most people will not work out if they're at their home doing it on lockdown. So it's good to hear. I got a fun chat. You're going to like today's challenge, Annalise. Um, it has to do with working out. So Sergio played tennis. Put together a grill. Nice. Who won the tennis match? Maybe I shouldn't ask that question. Uh, oh, Miss Caffrelli won. Okay, very good. Maddie's been preparing for the Olympics. Oh, Maddie's doing the Olympics. Hey, you have an extra year to prepare for him now. Uh, July 23rd to August 8th, which, like, my birthday's right in the middle, which is that's super cool. Helps sister move into her new house, mowed her lawn, pressure washed her house for four to five hours. Good job, Emily. Way to make yourself useful. We fit. I'm not sure that's a, I mean, I, I guess that's kind of a workout, but. Uh, Davis Brown, my friend said they're lacking because they don't have an online workout class. I'm lucky to be here. Hey, by the way, I'm going to share, I, I upload this video on Facebook and also on YouTube. So if you want to share this with your friends who want to do a workout, let them join in. I have no problems with that. Um, yard work. Good, Jake. Yard work is good for you. Again, staying active is probably the most important thing. You don't want to be uh, just sitting around not doing much. So, yes, I agree, Sensei Jim. We're all lucky to be here. Um, I saw a quote that says, uh, don't, don't say that you're stuck in your house. 
be thankful that you're safe in your house. Okay. And again, just kind of changing your mindset a little bit, trying to think positive, reading and soccer. I like soccer. Okay. Very good. So going to our drill now, fighting combinations. Um, some of you have done this before, but I'm going to give you tips to help improve that. Okay. If you're sparring, which I think all of you guys pretty much spar, um, this is some tips to hopefully get you better at sparring. Let me, so the first thing we're going to do is going to be a front kick jab reverse punch, which I, I know we all know what that is, but I'm going to make it a little bit harder. When you do your front kick, and some of you may already do this. Okay. Some of you may not know. After you front kick, when I put my foot down, I don't want to put my foot down where I picked it up from. I want to go to almost like a forward stance, then jab, and then when I reverse punch, watch my hip. I'm going to push my hip forward, twist on the ball of my foot, so I can really punch and reach, and I'm going to pull right back. And again, some of you may already do this. Some of you are like, whoa, this is really cool. Okay. The point, and kicking has a couple points in sparring, right? So number one, to hit or to close distance. Like if you're sparring somebody and you try to always punch them and they're like too far away, well, kicking will help you close the distance. It kind of disguises that you're moving closer because what happens if I kick, I put my foot forward, I'm a lot closer to my target than if I just did this. Does that make sense? So if you kick them, that's like a bonus. But use it as a way to create or close the distance or close the gap between you and your opponent. Okay, so we're gonna do 10 front kick, jab, reverse punch combos with the left side. And then I wanna work on the right side as well. I think it's super important to work on both sides, especially in sparring. And when you get advanced, um, if you can spar with both sides in front, you're more, uh, I want, what I wanna say, you're, you're able to be able to spar better because you might not always have a chance to pee your left side in front. And if you're in a real life situation, you can't tell your opponent, hey, time out, let me get the correct side that I'm trained in, right? You gotta be able to be versatile, that's what I was looking for, versatile on both sides, okay? So front kick, jab, reverse punch, left side first. I'm gonna kind of stand on an angle so you guys can see if you have any questions. Make sure the jab goes to the nose, reverse punch to the body, okay? So kicking to the body, jab to the nose, reverse punch to the body. And also it's about sparring, you wanna create your own opening. Okay. Everybody only has two hands. Most people do. And you can only protect so much with two hands. You cannot protect your whole body. That's just almost impossible. So the reason why you want to work levels is so you can create your opening. If I kick to the body, well, their front hand is going to drop most likely. That means the jab is going to go to the head. That means they probably will bring their hand back up and then that reverse punch is going to go to the body and so forth. Okay. Sparring is about creating your own opening. Again, this is something more advanced. In the basic sparring group, we don't really talk about this. We just want you to get moving and blocking and punching, but this is advanced. This will help, hopefully help your sparring a lot better, okay? So front kick, jab, reverse punch, left side first. We're going to do 10. Make sure you key eye. I'm going to go back and watch this recording. For every key eye that you miss, and I'm going to keep track, it's going to be two burpees when we get back to normal, okay? So I'm watching you guys. If I don't see you key eyeing, I know I can't hear you, but if I don't see you key eyeing, it's two burpees every time. Mills, you cannot hide in the office. You better come out here and do this, okay? Um, Make some noise. Feel free to make some noise, okay? Um, if your brother or sister is sleeping, well, it's 1220. They need to get up anyways and do something. So be loud. Make sure you key McIntyre's, wake up your neighbors. Let them know you're training karate today. Um, let's get to it. Okay, again, front kick, jab, reverse punch. After you kick, focus on putting that foot in front of you like in a forward stance so you can get closer to close that gap. Okay, good. 10, I'm going to count them out. You key when you do that reverse punch. Okay, ready? One. Two. Try to focus on speed also. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Ten. Good. Man, everybody looked good from, from where I was looking at. All right, now we're going to go to the right side. So other side. I'll, again, I'm just going to face sideways so you guys can see. Um, right side, it might be a little awkward for most of you guys, especially if you're used to reverse punching with your right hand. Now you got to reverse punch with your left hand. It might be really awkward. It's going to be awkward for me. So this is a learning process for all of us, a challenge. I like challenges. I step up to challenges. Hopefully you guys do too. But that's why you guys are where you're at, because you step up to challenges. You don't run from them. Okay, again, so... After I front kick, go to almost the forward stance, jab, and then when I reverse punch, twist on the ball of my back foot, reach, keep this hand up, don't drop your hand, and then come right back to your guard. Okay, let me 
All right, you guys ready? Remember, 10 with the right side now. Make sure you key out. I'm gonna go back and watch this, and I will come after you if you don't key out. All right, good, ready? And one, two, three. Focus on those different levels. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Very good, guys. Man, that was awesome. Good. Everybody's okay? Thumbs up if you're good. All right. If you have any questions, again, type them out. I'll check them. Get some water, and then we're going to go to some curriculum, okay? Drink up. If you have something to say, feel free to hop it down in the chat box. I'll be more than happy to answer it. Oh. Doing all right. Good, Mills. That's good to hear. You're not sweating enough, though. I think uh, you need to do extra burpees. Man, it's a nice day out. It doesn't look like there's going to be a tornado. Hopefully not. I don't like rainy weather. Unless I'm sleeping, then it's really nice. For me, it's relaxing if I can sleep and it's raining outside. All right, going to curriculum. The Hachi Nidon is the kata today. So again, uh, we did the Hachi Shodan Tuesday. Pinan showed on Thursday. Today's gonna be Nahachi Nidan. Did you see the rain? I did not see the rain earlier. I don't know. I didn't see it at the dojo. I saw a lot of wind. Anyways, so Nahachi Nidan, focus on Nahachi stance. And again, the first time, I'm just gonna count. We're gonna go nice and slow just to make sure we got the moves. Second time, I'm just gonna say Hajime, and you're gonna go at your own speed and pace, okay? And when we do Hajime the second time, I wanna challenge you to put some power in those moves. Watch those stances, put some speed, you know, uh, kind of take your karate. I tell the kids beast mode is what I tell them on Saturday mornings when you do one by the count and then one, like when I say you put extra power and stuff. Since Jim knows, he helps me on Saturday mornings, but I, you know, I use that word beast mode. The kids love it. They're like beast mode, let's go beast mode. So that's what we're going to do the second time. First time, again, nice walk through. Second time, beast mode. Okay, good. Ready? Let's do it together. Let's get ready. Bahachi Nida. Yoi. So before we start, if you're short on space, you can turn sideways and do the kata that way also. Does that make sense? Don't feel like you have to do it facing me. Do it to how you need to to be able to do the kata. Okay, good. We're at Yoi. Nice and slow. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Here comes your first key out. Eighteen, Oops. nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Kia, us. Right foot moves in. 29. Let's get Ray. Come on. Us. Excellent job, guys. Way to go. Are there any questions before we go beast mode on any specific moves? Type them away. Oh, I gotta check my chat box. It's 11 messages I haven't read. All right, perfect. Sensei Jim, you're rocking with an iPhone 4? I didn't know they still service those. Man, Davis Brown has a question. What's your question, Davis Brown? Typo Android phone. Oh, that's why you have Android. It's got to be iPhone. You've wondered what the first move is and what it's used for, for raising elbows. Hey, that's great. You know, and uh, to kind of give you a rundown quick, kata. I love kata. Um, that's the basis of our karate. If you haven't heard me give the speech before, you know, karate is about self-defense. And so what it is, is the katas are made 
to kind of hide self-defense moves, if you will. Um, kind of like the movie National Treasure, if you've ever seen that movie. Uh, it's probably the only Nicolas Cage movie that I like. But, you know, he uh, he kind of goes around discovering, because he looks at like stuff that we look at every day, like the dollar bill, and it has a map to a treasure and stuff like that. So that's kind of the uh, way kata is. And so each kata has moves that are like self-defense moves in it. Um, and that's a great question. And it's kind of hard to do it by myself. But, you know, one way that the Hachin can work is if somebody's bear hugging you from behind, you know, the best, the easiest way to get out of it is if you drop your weight and pop your elbows up at the same time. So that's kind of the, the, the calf rallies will demonstrate. Boom, boom, just like that. And that's the easiest way to get out of a, and it's one of our self-defense techniques also. So move number one can be used as that. Um, there are other applications to it. Uh, if, you, if you get bored and you want to look them up, YouTube, look up Nahachi Nidan application or Bunkai and people from all over have posted their meaning. And again, this isn't, it's not the only thing that it can do uh, it's on how you interpret it. So that's what's cool about kata too, is it's, you know, I, I'm not saying that I'm right or wrong, but it's how you see it and how you interpret it, okay? So let's go beast mode and hachini don. I'm gonna say hajime, go at your own pace. Don't feel like you have to keep up with me, okay? I've been doing karate for 20 years, so it might be better, it might be, not better, it might be faster than you or stuff like that. So don't feel like it, it's not a race, okay? I want you to just put some power in your technique, put some speed, don't go so fast that you flow through the moves in like a blink of an eye. And also watch that Nahachi stance. Don't forget about that Nahachi stance. Remember toes in, knees bent a little bit, and focus. All right? Everybody's ready. Good? All right, let's do this. Good. Toes A. Great. Nahachi, knee down. Doi. Before we get started, take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. And Hajime. Very good. Thumbs up if you've got if you've already uh, done, or if I can't see you, hit a thumbs up in the comment, or just say done, just to make sure. I don't want to move on before everybody's done. Okay, so if you've kind of followed the pattern that we've done so far, we did Nahachi Shudan, Pinan Shudan last week, Nahachi Nidan, Pinan Nidan will be on Thursday, same time. Um, again, if you have any questions about kata, come to the dojo. I haven't had one person come yet to ask questions. Don't feel like, you know, it's going to be busy. No one has come by yet to take advantage of that. Um, again, there's not many times you get offered a one-on-one -on -one session with an instructor about anything. Granted, it's only going to be five to 10 minutes, but if you have questions about anything, come by the dojo. I'm here 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Monday through Friday. Unless like Tuesdays and Thursdays I'm doing classes, I can't help. But that means you guys are watching too. And then 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. in the evenings, afternoons, Monday through Friday as well. If you're out and about, you want to swing by real quick. You don't have to wear your gi. If you want to wear street clothes, that's fine too, okay? Don't feel like you have to wear your gi for this. It's only going to be five, 10 minutes. Um, Kata's are on YouTube, but you have to go through our website. If you have any questions about that, shoot me an email. I'll be more than happy to help you. Before we leave, though, I'm going to give you your challenge, okay? This is super exciting. I, I took me, I took some time to prepare this for you guys. I, I did not copy it. For, I mean, I got the idea from somebody on the internet or Facebook, but I kind of made it ours, okay? So. I'm going to show you what it is, and I'll send you a picture of what I want you to do with email, um, or I'll, I'll even put this on the Facebook group as well. So there's multiple ways you can get it. If you don't have email or Facebook, tell mom and dad to check it because they will get this picture, okay? So see if you can see this right here, okay? It's, it's called Spell Your Name Workout. Sorry, there's a glare. I'm trying to get rid of it. All right. Again, I'm gonna send this to everybody, but what it is, each letter represents a different exercise, and you're gonna spell your name while doing that exercise. Okay, so each letter has a different exercise. Again, you know, for like for me, my first name starts with a J. I think J is like 10 burpees. So we're going to have to say me and you, Sensei Jim, I know the feeling. And Jake, we're going to start with and Jake, 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 Jill. Man, we all have a lot of J's. So um, I'm going to send this to everybody. Each letter represents, you're going to spell your name, okay? Um, for those of you who have like four-letter names like Jake or, you know, Jim, 
If you want to do your name twice, you can do your name twice too. It's up to you guys. Okay. Um, you know, I'm, I'm almost uh, done with time here. If you guys have any questions, you know, uh, I'll give everybody the ability to unmute yourself. Uh, I'm not going to unmute everybody. Just if you have a question, unmute yourself, ask away, or you can use the chat box at the bottom. Um, first name or entire name. It's up to you. If you want to do your whole name, that's cool. If you want to just do your first name, that's a, uh, up to you. I want at least your first name done though. Okay. So, um, yeah, Chris, your name is Christopher, not Chris. So you gotta do the whole Christopher. Um, okay. So if you guys have any questions, um, Renee, yeah, Renee, that's pretty simple too. If you guys have any questions, ask away. I'm going to give you the ability to unmute yourself here in a second. Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm muted everybody. Oh, I'm muted everybody. Um, if you don't have any questions, you can bounce. See you guys Thursday, unless you want to come by the dojo and be here. Um, oh, quote. Try to do a quote every day, okay? So this quote, uh, I found it on Facebook, so I don't know who wrote it. And, um, it's supposed to think positive. For example, and again, this is a quote. This didn't really happen to me, so I don't really know. Okay, it says, the think positive. For example, I fell down the stairs today and thought, wow, I sure fell down those stairs fast. Okay, just kind of a little humor, you know, instead of thinking the worst in situations saying, oh, I fell down the stairs, think of, hey, I fell down the stairs really fast. You know, again, just kind of humor, thinking positive. Um, I know with a lot of this things going on, it's easy to get sucked into that negativity. Don't be that person. Think positive. We're going to get through this. Um, have any of you guys done the Dojo Minecraft challenge? Oh, yeah. So uh, that's a good question. So Jacob Mills asked if anybody's done the Dojo Minecraft. If you're into Minecraft, we're doing like this challenge where we took a picture of our Dojo mat space on Facebook. And we're asking students, if you're into Minecraft or adults, um, to kind of recreate your own Dojo space, which is really cool. We've seen some cool uh, results so far. Um, if you guys are up for it, there's a prize. If you guys want to do it, um, feel free to do that. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, anything else? You guys have any questions? Feel free to jot them down if you want to talk or if you want to chat. Up to you guys. Uh, again, I'll be at the dojo um, 4 to 6 p.m. later this evening and uh, Monday through Friday, 10 to 12, 4 to 6, okay? Um, if you guys got any questions, fire them away. If not, I will see you guys on Thursday. Thanks for joining. Thanks for taking time out of your day. Hopefully, you guys have an awesome day. Don't forget the challenge. Be on the lookout for the email. You will get it, okay? Yeah. Okay, no worries, Mr. Caffrelli. Uh, like uh, these messages will be recorded, so you can go back a little time later. Miss Sophia this morning. I don't know where she was at. Uh, hopefully, she can join us Thursday um, for this workout. She was here last Thursday. She did a good job. Um, again, if you guys have, any, if you guys are good to go, you can bounce. If you have any questions? Feel free to ask away. I'll hang out for like another minute or so. Okay. Bye. See you guys. Thanks for joining. Thank you very much. Hey, you're welcome, guys. You guys have a good day. Thanks for joining. Thank you. you bet. See you guys. Bye, Jacob. Bye, Mr. Bye.